Standing on the goddamn corner smoking dope. My bad, we don't drug test here. What well, we do, but we only hire the people that fail. <laughs> Come in here passing no fucking drug tests, you snitch. You, you not hired. You're not hired. That's the prerequisite. You're not, you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're not worthy. <laughs> Like, hold on, do you do drugs? Yeah, well, we don't want you around. We don't want no yeah. bunch of sober motherfuckers in here. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up, fucking up. I'm knocking over shit that ain't mine. I'm fucking up shit all the time. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You just want that girl touching on you. Thick <laughs> thighs. She thick. I give about. I think she coming back around. <laughs> we had Tank on here. She was wearing makeup and everything. Ah like, oh, shit! Ah oh, shit! I done kicked this shit two many times. Got to, all right, fuck it. Don't worry about it. Day O N. How you living over there, man? Living large, man. Cause look, we've been in the trap for a little minute, and I've been wanting to do some, you know, redecorating. About time. You know, yeah. it's time to elevate. Mm -hmm. This ain't even mine, so I ain't worried about this. Mine look good. But you know, I, I be, always be thinking about the architectural designs and shit like that. You know, just how to make shit look fly and futuristic. Mm, I can dig it. Thinking about starting a little community of, you know, small houses and shit. That's dope. I don't know why though. I'm charging this big rent. <laughs> Even a small house with big rent. That's how I'm living though. But I got somebody in here with us today that's gonna really help us figure all this out, bro. Right. Our design yes, problems are no more. No more. But before we do that. Yeah. You know what? I don't like to go to work unless people know that it's, you know, the black market is open. That's all the, the bell symbolizes. Welcome to the black market once again. I got my man Rich Reed in here from Rich Designs. Rich, welcome, welcome. Thank you, appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you. This couch is comfortable, man. Like that it. couch makes dreams come true. Damn. We have every time we have somebody on that couch, we always tell them to make a wish, cause it comes true. Prosperity for everybody. Yeah, that Property couch. Property and prosperity. There mm -hmm. you go. That there couch go. is blessed by the best. There you go. We had a voodoo lady come through, and uh, I ain't gonna tell you what she did. <laughs> but what's up, man? What's man, been going what's on? Good, man, just working and uh, you know making dreams come true for people. Who, who want homes, communities, and uh, commercial properties. Bro, check this out. You thought I was, I was bullshitting when I told you before we got started. Now that everybody's here, tell them that we've had people come through here bringing up his, his work already, Rich okay. Designs. Yeah. That's Hold a you. fact, that's a fact. So your work already precedes it. So Appreciate it, thank How you. did this stuff come about? Uh, real talk, getting tired of making money for other people. And, I love that idea. And, and, Make some money for yourself. That's what we pushing in. Yeah. In, 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 in black ownership. Yep. You know, one um, more time. One more time. The word black ownership scared people so much. They act like we gonna own something and then like, I don't know what they think gonna happen, but they scared for us to have some shit. I don't yeah. know what that's about. Yeah. And um, sometimes it's an uphill battle, but you gotta, you know, persevere and keep going. Right. And um, I work for major, major firms, huge firms. I've been practicing for over 15 years and it was, it was, it was time to step out. Right. You know, it was time to, all right, make the leap and say, I'm going to dedicate my time and effort to specific people, people in our community in Atlanta, specifically city of Atlanta and outside of that and, uh, make dreams come true and, and, and make them feel as if they have, um, a hand in the design process, not only just designing for them, but they're um, really integral in the in the whole process. Like a lot of my clients are really close friends of mine now. You know what I mean? That's how 
integrated, I put the design within them, you know? 15 years in the business. Mm -hmm. Give me some of your favorite designs that you've done. I'm talking about something that you look back like, boy, I'm a fool with it. Yeah. You see this? Ain't no, ain't no edges on this. <laughs> yeah, we don't cut corners. There ain't no edges on it. Um, shoot, I designed a brewery in Kennesaw, Horned Out Brewery. Uh, designed homes on 184 uh, in uh, Kirkwood, uh, Clay Street. Uh, four houses, they're all in a row. So you can go down there and look at them. They're all modern homes. Um, I've done historic homes. Uh, I got permission to say this from her. Uh, it's the first house off a of boulevard uh, right across the street from the BP uh, in, in Grant Park, city of Atlanta. Total redo of her house. That's you. That's me. Uh, sits on a hill. Can't miss it. First house on there. Um, so yeah, those are, those are the ones right now that I can say, you know, that's dope. You that's know. what's up, man. This is some of your work right here? This is some of my work. That's the brewery in Kennesaw right there. Uh, that was uh, Adaptive Reuse. That uh, was nothing. It, it didn't look anything like that. It was just a empty space, a brick. So I added on to it, and the inside is just it's crazy. It's magnificent. And I see you got some, some articles over here. Yeah, uh, a couple articles that was written about me as a, um, being a entrepreneur here in Atlanta and making a difference in the city, in the city landscape and fabric. And uh, so, yeah. So what's going on with the industry right now? I know once COVID hit, ran the price of everything uh, up. And... Yeah, lead times were slow, prices were going up. Um, but now we're seeing it come back down. We won't get that effect. So don't go to Home Depot and think you're going to get wood cheap. It's going to hit a little bit later. But the prices are now finally coming down. Lead times are coming down. Usually, I would have a lead time of six months or more. Now, it's going to be like three to four months. So we, we're, seeing, we're seeing things come down now. Um, That's so yeah. Up, but construction is not stopping, though. What's new in construction, though? You, you're the whole architect and all that. So like, Man, no, I remember the whole downtown fabric um, has changed over time. I remember when Buckhead wasn't Buckhead now. I remember they had the clubs and then they tore it all down and then it's now. So we are, Atlanta is constantly growing, constantly growing to the point where we gotta find space for stuff, for the, for the high rises and the, and the multifamily and all that good stuff, but it's never gonna stop, so, yeah. What we need to be looking forward to though, in the future, what they about to start putting in houses, man? What? Oh, man, everything. It's like college campuses are now hotels. Uh, homes are now like luxury apartments, uh, but your square footage price is going to definitely go up and it's going to stay going up. Um, and if you hire someone like me, I'm very innovative. So I think of the new stuff. I set the trends. So I don't want you to say, go look for something. Come to me and I'll tell you what you want. That's hard. That's, you see how easy you flip that? You're like, don't go looking for the new stuff. I got it. Yeah, I have it. Just hire me. I got, I, I got, got you that. covered. Yep. And, and, and a lot of people don't know what it's like to work for an architect. Yeah. And, and, and that's why I, I started my own studio is because um, I, I handhold my clients. I walk them through the entire process. So any questions, text me, call me, email me. I'm quick to respond, and I'll let you know what is necessary from design, going through the city permits. I have relationships with everybody in the city of Atlanta and other jurisdictions. So you don't have to go and, and deal with that. I have an entire team of mechanical, electrical, employment, engineers. I have a contractor on board um, that's trustworthy um, because a lot of people don't like dealing with contractors straight up. So I, I, I kill all that lead work for you. Right. It's a one-stop shop. Okay, so we get this. The whole point of this platform is to bring people in from different industries and things like that. You know, they look like us. Mm -hmm. So we got to get some game from a 15-year veteran in this industry what what like advice are you giving to young black architects and designers and things of that nature who are coming up in the industry behind you yeah um stay creative stay innovative uh learn from other people and keep an open mind um and stay persistent if you want to become an architect uh it's possible it's definitely possible but just stay creative as possible because when you get out in the real world you got people that it's hard and, and they want to hold you back and they want to kill your creativity. Don't let them do it. What you know? kind of game did you pick up working for the big firm? Uh, what not to do. 
No, the good shit. The good. <laughs> I'm just saying, some shit that you be like, okay, I see why this works for them. Yeah. Um, business. Learning the business of architecture. Um, because they stayed in business for a reason, and it's not many of us. So I learned how to, how to deal with the money, all the things that's behind the scenes uh, that I how picked up. How do you up. deal with the money? <laughs> um, it, it is, we have good contracts. You got to know your contracts. And, and, and then have uh, revenue to back up each project. You know what I mean? And, and, and keep, you'll be fine if you can keep your client uh, within their budget. Once yeah. you get see that, then you're gonna burn. You're gonna burn through fees easily, easily. So you gotta know the money and, and keep to a budget. Period. You know, because you can you can be very very creative with um, limited resources. That's what you do with it. Yeah, that's you that's know? what pushes the creativity. Yeah, that's what the you do with it. resources. Yeah. That's dope, man. What can they reach out to you and start their projects through Rich? Oh, man. Um, richdesign.studio is my website, not .com or .net. It's richdesign.studio. Uh, social media. That, that means he owned that. It ain't own that. .com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, .studio. Instagram, Rich Reed uh, Studios. Um, it's easy to find out. I'm heavy, heavy presence on the social media uh, platform. And then Facebook, Rich Reed. You know, I'm about to get should, on Should there, I give up my phone number? Because they can hit me up directly. I'm, you know. Now nah, this this show go crazy. Yeah. You just, just wait till they hit you on social media. Because <laughs> hold on, because I'm about to lock in. I already told you the projects I need done Do already. I got you. Do it. Anything you want to leave them with? Um, just hit me up. Um, your project is in good hands with me. Uh, our team uh, will will give you a good a good service for a good price and have a real dope design. And it doesn't matter if it's adaptive, reuse, commercial, residential, it doesn't matter, uh, or ground up. We do it all and we have an entire team that can service everybody's needs. Hold on, you have to put it in here, I'm tripping. <laughs> but yeah, man, keep doing good work. I told you, your, your word is already out in the streets, man. People talking about what you got going on. And yeah, we'll get a project in and we'll post it on here and people will be like, Rich Reed did that. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that'll be hard, man. But man. we appreciate you stopping through the black appreciate market. Appreciate it, man. Thank Drop you. Drop everything for them one more time so they can hit you. Instagram, richdesign.studio. Uh, website is richdesign.studio as well. Facebook, just look up Rich Reed. Um, and yeah, I'll get back with you. Well, J-O-N, there you have it. Give me your number, bro, because I definitely need my project started. Right here on the black market, making it happen. The black way. 85 South Shelf, black market, Rich Reed Designs. What, like cat? That in. Oh, you want me to? <laughs> it's still open, cat.